I really love Tunis. Uh, I had the luck of living there for the last three years and for me it's one of the last forgotten cities of the Mediterranean. There are very, very, very few cities remaining that contain the kind of beauty and connection with the past, with heritage, and with the ability of people to inhabit a place, to inhabit memories, and to feel more secure in their identities uh, as Tunis is. Since I had the opportunity of living there for three years, I wrote a story which was more like a love letter to Tunis, and I accompanied it with images that um, hopefully bring out uh, an aspect of the city and the people that inhabit the city that shows how these people are influenced and impacted by living in uh, a building that isn't built 10 years ago, but 150 years ago. Perhaps the only challenge I faced when working on this topic was more the conceptual one of how to you know, refocus a piece and write a letter, uh, a love letter to a city. So the, the challenge was to kind of uh, write something that contained elements of history uh, without my readers feeling that this isn't something that relates to them and relating it to today, relating it to uh, the refugee rush across the Mediterranean, relating it to all of the issues that have to do with the, the, our own losing of our own identity. Because when we uh, live in a Khaliji Gulf style luxury development that was built in the last five years, how can we possibly feel connected to the earth that's been there for thousands of years?